my life I'm gonna give it a go Cause the timing's just right Feeling the flow Growing a pair of wings Everyone beside me Is a friend
Hello, class of 2020. My name is Rudy Ponko, and I am very unqualified to be giving you guys a short speech on your graduation. Uh, you know, usually people who give this speech are people who've experienced life uh, and some sort of success. That is not me. I, uh, I get to experience this and have the privilege to talk to you guys for two reasons. Uh, the first being how recently I have felt the pressures of graduation and the emotion that goes with it. And then the second being uh, an example of somebody that didn't do it by the book and was okay doing that um, and really gave myself the time to figure out what I felt passionate about. Now, I, I remember sitting at graduation and thinking to myself only one question. Did I make the right decision? <laughs> and just being frank with you guys, that question alone has been the most frequently asked question of my entire life in all aspects uh here's the good news though you don't know you really do not know until you're experiencing it you could have the best feeling about something and then you get there and you realize this is not what i signed up for or you're the opposite or you're kind of skeptical and you're not sure if it is the right decision and then you get there and it's the best decision of your entire life you don't know and here's some more good news. You don't need to know. You guys have time. And it's okay to take some time. But that doesn't mean sit around and wait for it to come to you. It takes effort. It takes going out and trying things on. All right? It takes self-motivation and bravery to leave something comfortable. And most times than not, that's how you achieve your goals. In the capitalist society that we live in today, it's up to the individual to pursue what they want to pursue and to achieve that, to believe in themselves, to set goals and work towards them with passion. And then once you've achieved that goal, know that there's going to be another after that and another after that and another after that. But in the meantime, you gotta check and make sure that what you're working towards and all this effort and time you're putting into it is something that makes you happy and that you're proud to be working towards. And right now, you guys should feel proud. I know I'm proud of you guys because you guys are experiencing something that very few, if not only you have. So hold yourself to that standard. You know, you guys are examples of change and our country is changing right now and we need to change it for the better. Congratulations, class of 2020. This is a major goal you can check off. Now have fun and enjoy looking for your next goal. Good evening and welcome to Ketchikan High School's 2020 graduation ceremony. My name is Jason House and I have the privilege of serving as the principal of KHI. I would like to extend greetings to the families and friends of our graduating seniors who are joining us today, whether they are watching here in Ketchikan or from all over the world. These graduates have been blessed with your love and support. The class of 2020 has had a historic year and has faced challenges no K-High graduating class has ever faced. They have endured the disappointments of sports seasons not completed, of music and art fests not attended, of missed time with friends, and of disrupted traditions. But they have supported each other, faced the challenges with dignity and grace, and adapted their expectations to respect the restrictions placed on our school. These K-High students are an exemplary group, outstanding in many ways, in academics, athletics, arts, building construction, welding, auto mechanics, and in service to others. I honor them for their achievements and I commend the staff of the Ketchikan Gateway Borough School District that has had a hand in getting these students to their graduation day. It takes a whole community to support students and we are all proud of the many accomplishments of these students through their years in Ketchikan. Tonight, we honor the seniors in the class of 2020. We wish them all the best in their future endeavors and we are assured that they will shine even brighter for the achievements they secured amidst the challenges of their year. Now please rise and join me for the playing of our national anthem presented by Joshua Nutt. <laughs>
will now get to hear from some of our outstanding Class of 2020 students. The Class of 2020 has distinguished themselves in many ways this year. Here to share their story is Senior President Carter Thomas. Good afternoon, family, friends, faculty, and the graduating class of 2020. My name is Carter Thomas, this year's senior class president. Today marks the completion of one of the biggest milestones of our lives. It's hard to believe that four years ago we entered through the front doors of KI as freshmen, and in the blink of an eye, our high school days are coming to an end. Now this year has not played out exactly as we expected. Because of COVID-19, our whole lives have been altered. Today, we should be walking across the graduation stage and receiving our diploma. Instead, many of us are likely sitting in our pajamas, surrounded by our family, watching the ceremony from our living rooms. For many of us seniors, the most disappointing part of this pandemic has been the loss of our senior traditions. We've looked forward to attending prom, walking across the graduation stage, doing the paper toss, pulling a senior prank, or having the opportunity to skip class without the governor's permission. For those like me who have a parent that is a K-High alumni, many of these senior traditions are the same ones our parents participated in when they were students over 20 years ago. They tie each and every graduating class together and gives us something to look forward to. Through tradition, we not only honor those who came before us, we also set the expectation for the future. It makes us a part of something bigger than ourselves. Although the opportunity to participate in many K-High traditions has been lost for the senior class, COVID-19 has, has presented us with the opportunity to forge our own path. A couple weeks ago, as my family was talking about graduation, my Aunt Liz told us the story of her high school graduation. Her graduation ceremony was held on the football field. In the middle of her graduation, a bolt of lightning struck the field and everyone scattered for cover. It totally disrupted everything and was a disappointment to many but it was a memory that uniquely belongs to her and her classmates. While COVID-19 has taken many things from us, it has also given us many new things that will tie us together. A few things that are unique to the class of 2020 are drive-by birthday parties, graduation from home, and a senior skip day that has lasted 10 weeks. Good luck trying to pull that off, class of 2021. We have also been able to spend time with our parents and siblings before we venture off into the world time that would have never been available to us had this never happened. Our stories have been altered as a result of COVID-19. As a result of breaking the molds of the past and finding a new path forward, we have created our own memories that only the class of 2020 will have. I will not be surprised to find that many of the non-traditional things we do this year to recognize and celebrate our graduates will become traditions that we will weave together with the many others that we have come to love. One thing we've learned this year is just how valuable our time is together. When we are able to reunite, hopefully soon, we will be able to create even more of these unique memories. Let us embrace the uniqueness that this pandemic has given the class of 2020 and appreciate the way it ties each of us together as classmates. Now as we move on with our lives, it's time to step out of our comfort zones, to meet new people, experience new cultures, and learn new things. But as we do so, don't forget where you come from, and don't forget what it means to be a K-High King. Being a king means always being kind to those around you, supporting others, and striving to be the best version of yourself you can be. May we continue to live this way throughout the rest of our lives. Each set of circumstances in this life presents us with a choice. We can either endure the situation, or we can thrive in it. Knowing this class the way I do, I can confidently stand before you and say that as we face our future, we will thrive. And we can't wait for all of you parents, siblings, teachers, family, and friends who have selflessly supported us along the way to cheer us on and encourage us as we do. When I ran for senior class president, I told you all to vote for me because our new principal, Mr. House, needed a guy who was going to show him the ropes and be his right-hand man. But the truth is, he needed all of us, the entire graduating class of 2020, to pull together, to love and support and encourage one another as we face these challenges. And looking back on our experiences, I have to say, I think we did a pretty darn good job. Class of 2020, I wish you the very best.
Thank you. Thank you, Carter. I am proud to introduce the class of 2020's salutatorian, Kaylin Cadiente. Congratulations, Kaylin. Family, friends, teachers, and administrators, and especially my fellow classmates of 2020. Although this is not how I expected to experience graduation, I am extremely grateful to the KHI teachers and staff and the Ketchikan community for giving us so much love and for making this possible for me to stand here and talk to you all today. Looking back on when I first started high school, Frankly, I could say I was beyond terrified of being a freshman. Coming to, from a school where my classmates were all people I grew up with since kindergarten, the idea of being in high school with lots more students was horrific. But it was not long after starting that I then realized how lucky I am to be in a school filled with such kindness, compassion, humor, and most importantly, friendship from all its students, staff, and teachers. The class of 2020 is a group that is filled with immense creativity, overwhelming service, and dependable camaraderie. I could say with great pride that I'm so glad to be a part of such a strong and resilient class. Although this is, isn't how we expected our last year of high school to unfold, we have taken on this challenging time with such strength and creativity that I wouldn't want to go through a global pandemic with any other class. That being said, I would like to say thank you to all of my fellow classmates for treating me with such kindness and friendship. I will forever be grateful of, for how all of you have made me feel included and for making high school a loving and enjoyable place to be. I would like to say thank you to all the teachers and staff for continuously supporting us for all these years, through all the hard times, the fun times, and even the frustrating times. You have always been by our side through this one crazy heck of a ride. Thank you for shaping us into the people we are today and for putting all your efforts towards preparing us for the adult world while still managing to make it so much fun and memorable. Once again, thank you wholeheartedly for not letting our class get swallowed up by this virus and for doing all you can to keep our senior traditions alive. To my family and friends, I wanna say thank you I want to say thank you with all my heart for unconditionally supporting me through all of my struggles and achievements and for giving me the confidence and strength to be here today. Big shout out to you, Janae. I especially want to give a big thank you to my mom, dad, and brother for all the endless support and love they have given me. I'm so proud to be up here for you. And thanks for always supporting me whenever I struggled, whenever I achieved, and whenever I cried over homework, even though there's more of where that's coming from soon. I want to keep working hard for you, and I want to do so with great pride and happiness. I love you. Four years ago, this day was a far off dream, but today it's now here, and it is today that we make this dream a reality. On this day, we are graduating as K-High Kings. Although we can't be physically together for graduation, that doesn't change the fact that we've made it as a class. We have persevered through the exams, the homework, the procrastination, the sporting events, the stress, the adversities. We have worked so hard and efficiently together that we could say, without a doubt, we have made it. As a final message to the K-High class of 2020, we have made history as we end this chapter of our lives. We have overcome the uncertainties together. We have made amazing memories together. Life is tough, but so are we. Thank you. Thank you, Kaylin. This year, I'm proud to announce that two students, Sarah Polaron and Dearly Villaflor, earned the honor of co-valedictorian. I am proud to introduce co-valedictorian, Sarah Polaron. Congratulations, Sarah. Good afternoon, students, parents, and staff. Though our graduation ceremony is unconventional this year, there are still some advantages. 
instead of being crammed into the uncomfortable benches of our beautiful gym for three hours just to see your child spend 10 seconds walking across the stage, you can now do so from the comfort of your own homes. As for me, instead of feeling the pressure to deliver a speech to you and hundreds of expecting families, I'm less anxious and more comfortable and confident to deliver my speech to the best of my ability. While it is an honor to be one of the class of 2020 valedictorians, I am more thankful for the experiences that I've gained throughout the past four years, shaping me into who I am today. Though I enjoyed the academic part of school, making memes about historical events in Mr. Cron's class, listening to the enthusiastic and passionate delivery of AP calculus lessons heard throughout the whole math wing in Ms. White's room, and laughing at lectures filled with hilarious jokes and stories in Mr. Powell's class. What I have enjoyed the most is discovering who I am outside of academics and finding ways to accomplish other things at KHI. Representing KHI on the volleyball court, running for miles in the soccer field, honing my creativity as a National Art Honor Society member, and singing alongside amazing voices in women's choir. It is through all of these activities and many more that I was able to discover my favorite part of high school, traveling with friends and teammates, making great memories. Whether it was a serious competition or just bowling with a team, I treasured the companionship and social growth that comes along with being with others from KHI. But participating in these activities happened because of the importance placed on academics. All of these experiences helped me get to where I am now, ready to discover and achieve more in all aspects of life. As for the class of 2020, we all have come a long way. I still remember my first day attending school in Ketchikan, barely capable of constructing a whole sentence in English and asking for help in Tagalog from my very first friend here who is actually my co-valedictorian, Dearly Villaflor. On our last day at KHI, I am so proud to graduate with such a passionate and resilient class. Our lives have seemingly been halted by this pandemic, but the class of 2020 has stayed positive and showed incredible courage by persevering and finishing the rest of the year, despite not being in the normal classroom setting. We have remained passionate about making the most out of our senior year and doing so with humor and grace. As we go our separate ways, I hope that you bring the same resiliency and passion to whatever path you may take. Our class consists of unique individuals with different plans. I hope you find passion for whatever you pursue. Getting through high school brought many challenges and more are bound to come. If these challenges bring you down or push you off course, Approach it with the same resilience and continue your path to success. Be kind and compassionate to yourself and treat others as you would like to be treated. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, we must use time creatively in the knowledge that the time is always ripe to do right. No matter where you are in life, I hope you find the courage to do what's right and change the world for the better. Whether it be tackling a huge crisis like ending the pandemic or through small actions such as volunteering in our community, it is time for us to make our mark in the world. And for those whose thanks could have taken the entirety of this speech, I would first like to thank my family. Mama, Ate, thank you for supporting me throughout my high school career. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your love and hard work. I'm going to keep going so that I can do the same for you. Now, I would like to thank our teachers and staff who equipped us with the knowledge and preparation for the next step in our lives. And our parents who have supported us and never gave up, even when you caught us procrastinating countless times. It is not just we, the students, who have succeeded. It has been all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. I am proud to introduce co-valedictorian, Dearly Villaflor. Congratulations, Dearly.
Dear Class of 2020, as I sit here on this glorious spring afternoon, wearing my pink pajamas, writing the speech, and staring at my laptop screen, I can't help thinking that something's wrong. Aren't we supposed to be all together right now? Not this year, I guess. This has been a season of terrible losses. People have lost their lives and families are grieving. Others have lost their jobs, their savings, their plans for the future. Many of you I know have suffered these things too. With losses such as these, it might seem selfish to feel sad about losing your graduation ceremony. But I don't think so. A high school graduation is a big deal. It's important. And for decades, graduation has celebrated in the same formal way. With juniors ushering us into the gym, teachers smiling and waving, and friends and families jostling for a photo, and everyone feeling extremely proud. We want the day to be distinct, unmistakable, yet linked to countless ceremonies from the past. No matter how many graduations I attend, and no matter how much of a hassle it is to get a parking space and find a seat, when the line of graduates finally appear and begin that final long walk as high school students, I can't help but shed a tear knowing that it may be the last time I see them. But more than anything, I was looking forward to our graduation ceremony. Excitement spreads through my body knowing we are one step closer to those who have come before us. My whole family will be there to watch. Teachers will see me walk and say to me that they knew I could do it. This year, however, the class of 2020 won't celebrate in the traditional format, four years in the making. And why not? Because history found us. An event that is changing the way we live is sweeping around the globe and it found us. Who knew a small remote island in Southeast Alaska would be affected as well? On the 13th day of March of this year, I vividly recall sitting inside a Juno hotel room during the Region 5 tournament. We received a notification stating that our spring break will be extended to one more week due to COVID-19. As a high school student, I, along with other students, was of course excited. We planned out what to do with friends and look forward to the extra five days without classes. But then on March 14th, spring activities, softball, baseball, track, soccer, music, and art fest, all postponed until further notice. This, one when, this was when we students started to feel nervous. Many of my friends are involved in these activities and were devastated their senior seasons were being cut short. Though fear was building, everyone brushed it off and believed that the delays were only temporary. The next day, however, it was announced. No state tournaments for the rest of the school year. And then the next day, more events were postponed or canceled. And the next day, and the next. As our long string spring break was extended week after week, our new reality began to sink in we were never going back to school. Not as a student, anyway. That part of our life had ended, and we never got to say goodbye to it. What hurts the most is knowing I did not have the opportunity to say goodbye. Not one of us realized that March 9th, 2020 was our very last day of high school. On that day, I remember telling all my teachers, I'll see you on Monday. But that Monday never came. Since then, people all over the world have hovered near their televisions, watching the frightening news, wondering what will happen next. It would have been so easy to slide into Netflix and TikTok and worry. But you, who we celebrate today, you didn't give up. You kept going. And now, in this strange situation, even without any big social gatherings, with just me in my pajamas and you in your childhood bedrooms, scattered far away from all the friends you expected to be with on this important day, you have become high school graduates. As a class, 
We have stuck together. We have supported one another. And we are all grateful because we need you. We need the scientists, artists, engineers, writers, businessmen, carpenters, beauticians, and many other hardworking people in this world. But most importantly, we need your optimism. Despite members being taken away from you, you did not fill your heart with hatred, but instead with kindness. You continue to look at every negativity with positivity. No words can describe how proud I am to be part of this class. The only thing I can say is that I'm sorry for everyone's suffering. I'm sorry, class of 2020, that we have to go through this. I'm sorry to my mom and dad because you aren't able to see your one and only baby walk across that stage. I hope I still made you proud. I wish I could give you all the graduation you deserve. I wish I could give you all your, grand your parents, grandparents, and aunts, and uncles the chance to hear your name ring out and see you walk across that stage and receive your diploma in person. I wish we could gather afterward and eat some of that cake and take pictures and celebrate what you've accomplished. But maybe you've gained more something than any of that. Maybe as very young people, you know something powerful, that you have been tested and you did not falter. You kept going. I hope you continue to strive. And although you're entering a different, very different world from the one you expected, it's a world that needs you. I know, your parents know, and your teachers know that you are ready for what lies ahead. Because history found us. Class of 2020 will forever be in the books. This class will be known as the class with the virtual graduation, the class during the virus. However, you have the power to make it more than that. Make a difference. Be extraordinary. This virus may have hindered us, but it will not destroy us. Prove and leave a lasting impression that you are more than the COVID-19. So thank you to all teachers, staff, and the whole Ketchikan community. Thank you to my friends and family. You didn't forget about us. You all impacted me in so many ways, and I'm forever grateful. You made me who I am. You all shaped and motivated the class of 2020 to become the very best, because we are the great class of 2020. As Mrs. Bolin likes to say, we are the GOAT class, the greatest of all time. So congratulations, class of 2020. With best wishes, your co-valedictorian, Dearly Villafor. Thank you. Thank you, Dearly. I would now like to introduce our graduation speaker. Scott Haberstad is a lifelong Alaskan currently residing in Anchorage with his lovely bride, Amy, daughter, Catherine, and son, Jack. Scott graduated from Ketchikan High School in 1989 and then attended flight school, earning his multi-engine commercial land and sea ratings. He returned to Ketchikan to fly for Taquan Airlines in the summer and attended college in the fall at Boise State University. Scott graduated with a Bachelor's of Business Administration and Marketing in 1997 and returned to Ketchikan to continue his flying career. Shortly after returning, he went to work for the Ketchikan Visitors Bureau as the Director of Marketing. In 2001, Scott went to work for Alaska Airlines as an account executive in Anchorage and was later elevated to Manager of Regional Sales. Today, he is the Director of Sales and Community Marketing for Alaska. Scott is active in the community, past chair of Providence Foundation, Alaska, and board member emeritus, executive committee, resource development council, and Alaska Travel Industry Association, past chair. Please welcome Mr. Scott Haberstad. K High Class of 2020, congratulations, and thank you for this humbling opportunity to address you. A mentor of mine imparted some valuable words of wisdom to me early in my career with respect to presentations. He said, Scott, the key to a good presentation is the three Bs. Be brilliant, 
be brief, and be gone. I know that sitting through a keynote speech given by some stranger is pretty boring. So I promise you, I will stick to the three Bs. Graduation is a time for reflection. And I hope that each of you have taken some time during this hunker down to reflect on the past four years. The community in which you live, the experiences you've had, and the friends you have made shaped who you are today. You should be proud of what you've accomplished and excited about what tomorrow will bring. Some 30 years ago, when I walked your path, my mind was set to leave Ketchikan. And not just for the next level of education, but forever. I was confident the grass was greener elsewhere. This was easily justified in my mind. Although I loved my time at K-High, I knew that Ketchikan was way too small for me and my ambitions. I felt like an unwilling prisoner on this rock where the rain fell constantly. My success and fortunes were best sought elsewhere. I left Ketchikan for flight school in Seattle and eventually Arizona, and then went to Boise, Idaho for college. I married, and my wife and I moved back to Ketchikan briefly to start our careers. It's been almost 20 years since Amy and I left Ketchikan in 2001. We have no blood relatives in town, but we still have our Ketchikan family, our friends. There's not a day that passes when we don't think about them. Ketchikan is a special place. The outdoors, the opportunities, and most importantly, the people who call Ketchikan home make this community like no place on earth. While we left Ketchikan for opportunities to grow our careers, what we never found again was the magic of this place. In Ketchikan, if you need help, there are always people who step up to provide it. In Ketchikan, if you want to celebrate, there are always people who will join you. In Ketchikan, if you move away, there are always people rooting for you. Because in some small way, your success are theirs too. That's how it is with family. And in Ketchikan, that's what we are. This pandemic has charted a new course for us all. Ketchikan, our state, and our country are experiencing trying times. Every generation faces trials, and this is yours. As you prepare to embark on the next phase of your life during these uncertain times, remember you come from an awesome community. Let that fill you with certainty. Let that be your foundation as you consider the opportunities that will come as a result of this new reality. No one knows what tomorrow will bring, but there is certainty in the interpersonal relationships you have built. Your families and your friends you have made as you've grown up here are the foundation that will guide you moving forward. The earth is a vast place, but I can assure you, Ketchikan is the center of the universe. It has been my experience that wherever I travel, I cross paths with someone from Ketchikan, or I meet someone who knows someone from Ketchikan, or who has talked to someone who once visited Ketchikan and now they want to visit Ketchikan because they heard it was a beautiful place. I firmly believe there are zero degrees of separation from where I am at any moment and my roots in Ketchikan. This community has played a part in opening every door in my life so far, even if it's just a conversation starter that allows me to build a new relationship. I've learned that the connections you make in life will do far more for you in the long run than almost any degree or certification. It is because of that that I've also learned that you never burn a bridge with a friend or in business. You will need that bridge to get home one day. I promise you that. As you consider your future, I'd also like to mention the importance of being open to trying new things and exploring new opportunities. 30 years ago, when I sat in the K High Auditorium listening to Governor Cooper talk, I was certain that I wanted to be a commercial pilot. I will admit, flying float planes in and around Southeast Alaska was a lot of fun, and some of my fondest memories are from that time. But as I had the opportunity to fly larger aircraft, it quickly became apparent that I would be bored out of my mind pushing buttons above the clouds for the rest of my life. I had made the wrong choice. Rather than panicking, I followed the wisdom of a 13th century poet named Rumi. Let yourself be silently drawn by the strange pull of what you really love. It will not lead you astray. So I pivoted and I took a job with the Ketchikan Visitors Bureau to develop the business skills that I had learned in college. A few years later, I found my way back to aviation with Alaska Airlines on the business development side of the company. Today, I truly love my job and believe deeply in the company I work for. I learned from that experience that you don't need to know what you want to do for the rest of your life today, or any day for that matter. You see, 
We only get one shot at this life. Life is too short to be in a job or a situation that you don't like, that doesn't fulfill you in a deep and meaningful way. If you ever find yourself in that situation, I hope you'll have the courage to do something about it. Chart a new course for yourself. It may be challenging at first, but it'll be worth it. Life is not easy. You have to work hard to achieve the success you desire. But success is defined in any way you choose to define it. Don't let others define what it looks like for you to achieve success as it will never be enough. Instead, be drawn to that strange pull of what you really love. As you settle into your career, into your life, I also urge you not to take yourself too seriously. A little self-deprecation keeps us all grounded. For example, no matter how cool you think that haircut looks today, 30 years from now, you'll look at that photo of yourself and think, what on earth made me think that looked good? Your kids will make fun of you, I guarantee it. It's a universal experience. I've always traveled my own road, experiencing peaks and valleys on my own terms, comfortable with where I've been and where I'm going. The road you have taken to get here is one like no one else has traveled. The experiences and traditions past generations had, that I had, will look different for you. You are trailblazers. Embrace that change. I've heard some people say they feel bad or sad for the loss of tradition experienced by the class of 2020. I'm not sad, and I hope you aren't either. You have the unique opportunity to change the future by establishing new and different traditions for yourself and for those to follow you. I hope you find new ways to celebrate your accomplishments. Traditions are great, but don't be stifled by them. It's always okay to grow in a new direction. Different is okay. Different is memorable. Class of 2020, you are memorable. You did it your way, and you get to carry that legacy with you for the rest of your days. Congratulations and best wishes. We're all rooting for you. At this time, I would like to introduce the superintendent of the Ketchikan Gateway Borough School District, Ms. Beth Lougie. We have certainly been blessed by Ms. Lougie's leadership throughout a very challenging school year, and we are grateful for her role in helping us plan today's ceremony that respects the state's expectations to keep our students, families, and community safe. Ms. Lougie. Parents, family, and friends of class of 2020, congratulations. This is an extraordinary day in your life. I know it is not what anyone imagined or wanted for your students on this day. I do know that your student graduating today has the foundation set to take their next steps in life. Thank you for sharing your graduate with the many teachers and staff that had the opportunity to help and shape them into being ready for this day and beyond. Teachers, staff, and administration of the class of 2020, congratulations. This is also an extraordinary day in your lives. High school graduation marks not only graduating seniors' hard work and dedication, but also is a celebration of your hard work and dedication to each student graduating today. Congratulations, class of 2020. Today marks an extraordinary day in your lives. I know it is not what anyone imagined or wanted for you on this day, but I am proud of all of you for how you have adapted your lives to make the best of these unprecedented times. I am excited to see what your next step in life will be. College, work, military, more graduations, ceremonies, and awards. Class of 2020, you are only beginning. It is with great pleasure that I introduce to you the Ketchikan Gateway School Borough District School Board members. President Bridget Matson, Vice President Sonia Scan, Treasurer Diane Gubatayo, Board Member Jordan Tab, Board Member Leslie Becker, Board Member Tom Hewitt, and Board Member Paul Robbins. I am deeply honored to speak with you today. In many of my conversations with teachers and staff, and in my own personal interactions with many of you, I have been reminded that you are one of the greatest classes 
to graduate from Ketchikan. On the whole, you are intelligent, talented, involved, and compassionate. You have a reputation for being hard workers, athletic, artistic, and smart. In many ways, you are truly an excellent group of students. I would encourage you to make excellence a lifelong pursuit. More than success, excellence should be your guiding principle. Be excellent in your work, your studies, your relationships, and your pursuit in your hobbies. Be excellent in the way you choose to live your lives. Learn, grow, and enjoy the many experiences that will make up your life's journey, and know that they will all be richer experiences as you strive for that excellence. Aristotle stated, excellence is an art won by training and habituation. We do not act rightly because we have virtue or excellence, but rather have those because we have acted rightly. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit, end quote. You are the authors of your own stories. Your choices about how you live your lives will determine whether you live excellently or not. There are two areas that I believe will help you in this lifelong pursuit commitment, and resilience. Vince Lombardi said, the quality of a person's life is in direct proportion to their commitment to excellence, regardless of their chosen field of endeavor. Whatever you choose to do after graduation, commit to the effort and attention that field will take. For example, if you're pursuing commercial fishing, become great at it. Learn why you fish in certain areas and what processes will make you more successful. Take advice from those who are experienced in the field and continue to improve your skills. If you are pursuing a trade, learn it well and dedicate yourself to the mastery of your craft. If college is your goal, use your time there well. Learn from lessons, teachers, mentors, and peers. Develop your understanding as you question and study. Develop your talents and your skills, whatever you do in life. Commit yourselves to improvement and lifelong learning. Do not give up when things are hard or they don't go your way, but commit yourselves. Commit yourselves to your relationships and to communication. Stay in touch with your families, your friends, and mentors who have invested themselves in helping you succeed. You will have many opportunities for new relationships. You'll find lifelong friends, you'll fall in love, and you'll have children. Commit yourselves to strengthening those relationships. Commit yourselves to healthy choices. Your health will impact all of your life, so stay as healthy as you can. Don't just hope for something to happen to you. That hope will stay a wish unless you commit to making it a reality. Commitment is action. Another thing to practice is resilience. Resilience means you keep going. You will have successes in your lives. You have so many opportunities, adventures, and experiences ahead of you. Success may or may not last. You will have hard times. You're going through one now. Keep going. You are responsible for how you deal with your setbacks. Develop in yourselves resiliency and know that setbacks, disappointments, or things not going how you want them to do not make you a failure. Do not make your life a bad life. Do not determine your future and do not change who you are. Keep going, keep trying. Find alternative ways to accomplish your goals. If a setback means you have to take a pause like we've just experienced, find ways to use that break to your benefit. Maybe you get to read the Harry Potter series that you haven't had time to read since junior high because of all the books assigned for your English classes. Maybe you get to FaceTime your grandparents more who love to communicate with you, but normally your schedule is too busy to facilitate that as often as you would like. Look for ways to use the setbacks or disappointments in your life to move you forward in other ways. There are times in your life when you will be heartbroken, discouraged, or feel alone. There are times in your life when you will have made mistakes and hate the consequences of those. You are not a failure when that happens. It is part of life. Learn from those experiences. Make different choices next time, but keep going. Keep learning, keep living, keep going. One of my very favorite quotes is from Gordon B. Hinckley. He stated, mediocrity will never do. You are capable of something better. As you embark on your post high school lives, know that your families, teachers, staff, and the community of Ketchikan believe in you. We support you. We have invested in you as you have grown up here and know that you have the ability to live excellent lives. Please continue to practice excellence in the things that you choose to pursue. We love you and we are proud of you. We look forward to the great things to come in your lives. Congratulations on this achievement. Mr. House, it is at this time I must ask, has the class of 2020 met the requirements set forth by Ketchikan Gateway Borough School District to graduate? Superintendent Lougie, 
President Madsen, members of the school board, I certify as principal of Ketchikan High School that the students being presented this evening have completed all requirements for graduation. It is with great pride and pleasure that I present them to you to receive their diplomas from Ketchikan High School. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present the class of 2020. Catlian Blankenship. Axel Hugo. Erica Pacifica Rowell. Jared Christian Valentine. Connor J. O'Brien. Ronnie Pangawi. Nicole Lee Embry. Deborah Elaine Carlick. Laura Rebecca Cheryl. Adam James Leask Williams, Jr. Sarah Joy Palaruan. Sophie Ann Madison Cornwall. Mackenzie Ellen Merrill. Francis Jade Hamaya. Brendan R. Roof. Ashley Marie Yoder.
Bession Camberry. Alex J. Maloof. Jacob K. Ramsey. Devon Sierra Sater. Emma Collins Campbell. Joseph Gonzalez. Kiera L. Hodges. Dennis Posey. Carter Thomas. Cody C. Brynart. Gregory S. Murley. Ashley Patricia Sear. Leanne Guevara. Diana Victoria Funes Martinez. Micah Jean Britt. Dearly Elaine Villaflor.
Sterling Nagy. Joseph Robert Shelton. Riley Sue Bolshakov. Roske Dumapit Jr. Kathleen E. Pearson. Shay Lynn Skillings. Ryan Scarzella. Savannah Nish. Bryce A. Matson. Ada Hu Brendan B. Hogue Alec J. Sievertson. Ryan Andrews Cummings. Jade S. Corbett. Leah Fay Call. Joshua Ethan Nutt.
Arthur Williams IV. Norana Scott Haig. Devin Dalen. Forest Nagy. Talisa McKinley. Caden Matson. Ashley Elizabeth Bowers. Brianna Grace Gentry. Hannah Noel Wheat. Logan Omer. Olivia Catherine Phelps. Jackson Lee K. Dimitri Tobias Martin. Clyde Jeb Tarvas. Kaylin Sangster Cadiente. Connor Russell Wodehouse.
Madison Jolie Purcell. Carly Joanne Klein McMahon. Jelena Quintana May Credito Williams. Kaisha Delanda Williams. Sullivan Bain Schultz. Campbell Rose Sandy. Dwight King. Isabella Maria Schreckheis. Caden Thomas. Levi McGillis. Christopher Polly Devin Cragen. Bella Roberts. Hunter Matthews. Jerome Moosney. Karstens A. Jasper.
Chris Lee. Alyssa L. Ray. Tyler Murley. Alex Beer Royce Carter Eli A. Bright Jordan Geary Arian Mendoza Christian Raymond Peel Gabrielle Perro Anne Koss Nadir Zuta Lily Auger Gabriel Matthias Ship Maddie Rose Grady Skillings Edward Marvin Davis
Ethan Thomas. James Nordland. Preston McLaren. Lisette Goffinet. Meta Mulder.
Ladies and gentlemen, as we send these young men and women out into the world, we send with them our hopes, our dreams, and our love. Thank you so much for participating in our historic graduation ceremony. Good night.